Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, Elton McFall here, aka Ritual Old School. This video is specifically uh, destined to be seen uh, by a very serious uh, Studebaker enthusiast. He's got a beautiful 64. Uh, George, how are you? And as I am a man of my word, or I always try to be, I've uh, taken a lot of time to uh, dig through my archives of vintage magazine ads and pictures and stuff from back in the day. And I found a whole lot of uh, Studebaker goodies for you. Now, uh, as you probably know, uh, Studebaker went out of business in 1963. But not completely because they were still assembled in Ontario here in Canada up until 66. So um, that's why, of course, uh, Studebaker, uh, Studebaker as generally from like 63 and on are not uh, easy to find. And as a matter of fact, you'll see that I only have one here. So, uh, let's start it off here, okay, so you can see i got a bunch of different things here. Now, uh, these ads you see here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. These are mostly all from Life magazines, they're all about 11 by 14 inches. And for some reason I have a lot of 1960 ads, like this one here. Now everything I'm showing, as you can see, is in good shape. This one's from 60 here as well. Right, wagon. Uh, this is a... This is a, th a 59 or a 60 right here. Yeah. Uh, there's a 61. Yeah, a little four-door. I always like these larks, you know. If ever I could drive legally and I wanted something that's reasonable, you know, to park in the city and on gas, it would be a good car to have. Here's a uh, rare 55 uh, President. Right? And the one next to it is, of course, much rarer even because it's from 42. And all uh, uh, civilian vehicle production in North America ceased in 1942 for the uh, war effort, World War II. And uh, speaking of 55, like this president, here's a president or commander. Uh, I don't remember where this was in Beirut, some Arab country. And some riot there. And uh, this 57 uh, Hawk, uh, which is actually a pretty common ad, used to be white. I, Took the liberty of taking one of my markers and making a one of a kind to try to help sell it. Um, this one I got on eBay right now. It's being watched uh, for a long time now. It's a '53, beautiful uh, Canadian ad, very rare, eight by eight by eleven inches. Oh, sorry, a little less than that. Make that seven by ten. This one's about eight by eleven. Uh, this is a very rare. 1933 Studebaker French ad. Uh, this came out of a right here out of a Montreal uh, car book uh, show, uh, car show book. Yeah, and uh, this here is uh, of course a uh, an ad uh, from uh, of course this is an ad from the Allstate uh, Insurance Company uh, showing that in fact uh, people got a 10% discount for insuring compact cars. Uh, because they were less likely to get into an accident, because they had less power, and they were smaller, and so forth. And continuing on, on the stewed subject here, uh, here's some uh, Studebaker Larks seen as uh, New York City cabs uh, with their drivers on strike about 1963, I think it was, judging by the uh, 63 Oldsmobile 98 in the background there. And uh, one of the rarest ads I have, not in mint condition, but still uh, right up your alley, my friend. The uh, 65 Studebaker Daytona. Uh, yeah, two-door post, of course, made in Canada. And uh, like I mentioned, the uh, South Bend, Indiana plant closed its doors, unfortunately, in 1963. Yeah. And uh, by the way, I'd like to point out um, that I have more to show you here that uh, if you're interested in several ads, which is usually the case from somebody who buys not just one ad but several from me when they come over or they see my stuff on Kijiji or eBay, I'm going to give you a good deal on uh, on whatever you like. So for example, you know, a lot of these eight, these 11 by 14 ads, for example, these ones here, you know, they're about five bucks each, but I'll let you have them for three each if you buy a bunch of them. Okay. okay and so forth so don't worry you get a good deal with me no question about it I believe in bundling the more somebody buys the more better the deal should be now of course if you buy like a lot I'm like look at this here you see like right here 
well that's probably about five bucks shipping so if it's twice that well it'll be about eight ten dollars so take all that there hang on I'll be, I'll be oh, okay George some more stuff to show you there uh, as you can see I'm a serious collector because I got stuff uh, really all over the place just to give you a general overview here of my ongoing obsession and <coughs> passion and I'm an artist too just to give you an idea more a little more about who I am and if you're gonna do business with me it's be good for you to know who I am and where I live right here in Montreal Quebec on another bloody cold day but I'll still be going out later because the winds will be light and uh, gonna go film some heavy trucks my Montreal Metro painting Okay, so uh, yeah, to conclude this uh, this offering here of uh, Studebaker uh, paraphernalia. Okay, so uh, what's really cool here? This is a nineteen yeah nineteen forty five Studebaker Christmas ad. Very cool. Uh, now uh, you know I did mention that if you buy a bunch of stuff, George, I'm going to give you a good deal. But you know, mind you, some stuff I can't sell too cheap because it's I know it's very rare. Like this, for example, is really rare. You know. Also, uh, probably rare too, is this 1950 um, Studebaker Champion ad. Beautiful ad. Great shape, of course. And here's a large uh, intro, 1959 Lark. Probably the card that, yeah, not probably, but the card that saved Studebaker, Studebaker pretty much. And uh, if you know your stuff, uh, you'll know that in 57, Studebaker merged with Packard. Or I should say Packard merged with Studebaker because they were in worse shape. Here's a beautiful uh, uh, old calendar photo. Oh, like, I don't know, I think it was like 15 years old or so. Heavy gauge paper, very nice. Yeah, you know, two bucks. A couple of beautiful 56 Studebaker ads here. Uh, the one at the top here, I did tape the pages together. One at the bottom. Uh, I'll have to tape them together if you want it, but this one I'll, I'll sell cheaper because it, it's, it's a bit... Uh, no, sorry, not this one, but this one I should have to sell cheaper because it's got some discoloration and as you can see the... It's, uh, it's got some... The whole paper is just got tons of waves in it. Another Larkad, 1959, um, 60. Yeah. And uh, you asked me about El Camino stuff. You know what's funny is that I... You know, I've been collecting magazines for many years now, right? And there's some, you know, types of cars or body styles you'll see repeatedly, you know? But I've never actually ever seen a, a, a 59, a 60, a 64, whatever El Camino ad. There's like, there's like no El Camino ads. And if there's an El Camino ad, it's, you know, with other uh, Chevy cars. Like, for example, I'll show you here. Okay, I'll get to this in a second. So I pulled this out of the archives. This is a 1980 Chevy Trucks ad, right? Okay, nice uh, nice uh, C10, CK, whatever, Silverado. And then they have the El Camino here. They snuck that in there. Still pretty neat, you know? And then, and then they have that, what is the LUV there? Jesus, these are like in, in existence here. Uh, they're, they're extinct in the Northeast here. All right, so that's that for that. And uh, then I have, I can offer you also, this is a photo I took of a badass 59 El Camino. Uh, right here in Montreal, you can see here by the Riviere de Prairie, the river. And uh, yeah, hell of a cool car. And this is of course a professionally processed photo. It's got my signature printed on Agfa paper. And that's about it. So uh, let me know what you think, man, and uh, you know, I'll make you, like I said, a bundle deal on a, a big package there. And that's it. So thanks for watching. And uh, everybody, anybody else watching, uh, take care as well. Bye-bye.